Hey everyone, welcome back to the next Python uh, Pi game tutorial. In this video, what I'm going to do, it's, it's going to be a quick one, but what I'm going to do is just add uh, uh, some sound effects and some music. And it's it's not that complicated. Um, it's, like I said, it's going to be a real quick video. Uh, so I'm going to add a sound effect for when you shoot the bullet and the music for the level. Later on, we'll start adding other sound effects, like when a bullet hits an enemy, it'll have a, a hit sound effect. When an enemy explodes, it'll have a sound effect. Because I think I'm going to add health to the enemy where you got to shoot them like three times and then they explode. So that'll have a separate sound effect. Uh, when you get hit, it'll have a sound effect. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing you need to know about Pygame, uh, I believe you can you can load WAV files, MP3 files, and AUG files. But in its official documentation, it suggests AUG files because it says if you run your program on certain systems it specifically states if you use mp3 files it just might crash their system might not uh, support running mp3 files with pygame so as it says always typically you want to use aug files and if you're not familiar with a, uh, what an aug file is or how to get one if you have any any mp3 or wav file of a song or sound effect you want to use if you just go to google and type in convert audio to aug the very top link is a website where you just upload the audio file and um it just converts it to AUG, and you can download the AUG version of it, and it's AUG OGG. So already, I've already done that. So I have a file called mus for music underscore level underscore zero one. So that's like our level music. And if you had more for different levels, you could use that same uh, syntax and call it like mus underscore level zero two zero three, and so on and so forth. For sound effects, I usually format it with SND underscore and then the name and number. Uh, so I have this sound underscore bullet zero one and sound underscore hit. Hit is when the enemy gets hit, which we're going to do later. But uh, bullet is for when I shoot the bullet. So I want to tie that sound effect to my ship object. So just anywhere in his initialize uh, function, I'm going to do self dot SND uh, shoot. So this is like sound effect for shoot. And the way you do this, you go pie game. There's a module called Mixer that has all types of audio functionality in it. And you can do mixer.sound. There's a sound object. And the only parameter it takes is the file path to the sound. And it loads the sound into this variable right here. And at any point in our code, we can do sound dot, or sound shoot dot play, and it plays the sound effect. Really easy. So I have the file name is SND underscore bullet underscore z, uh, zero one dot aug. So uh, all we need to do is on a, whenever we run this shoot method, do self dot sound shoot dot play. And now when we shoot, well, actually, there's one other thing we need to do. <clears throat> if you ever want to use audio functionality inside of Pygame, um, and I... I remember I struggled with this for a really long time because in their documentation, it doesn't explain it correctly. And I ended up going on all these forums to find a guy that fixed it. Uh, normally, you'll see people when they type in their Pygame code, uh, they'll do something like this at the top. Uh, the top, And they'll do pygame.init. What that does is that goes through every single module that Python gives you and runs its initialize function and like sets everything up to begin using Python with all its modules. You don't really have to use that at all, except for certain modules. Like the font module, you have to run pygame.init. The mixer module, you'll have to run pygame.init. Um, but for the mixer module specifically, there's a certain way you have to do it. At least for every system I've ever programmed pygame on, this is always the case. So you would think uh, you do pygame.init, and then what it also says to do is individually initialize the mixer module. And every module you can do pygame.module name, so I'm gonna do mixer and dot initialize. But watch what happens. If we do it and run the game, you see how delayed it's it's messing with me talking. Uh how delayed I don't know if you could even hear that. Is it coming through the, the stream? Hold up. Yeah, it's coming through. So when I hit the space bar, there's like a half a second to a second long delay. And it doesn't tell you, or at least nowhere on Pygame's documentation that I can find it, it, it says that's a problem or how to fix it. And every time I've done this, it's always a problem. And I ended up finding some forum where a guy says how to fix it. 
So the mixer module specifically has, it has an initialize method and it also has what's called a pre-initialize method. I don't know why this, why this is this complicated and why you have to do this. Just know, just type this and it'll work. So you always have to do the pre-init before the pygame.init, otherwise you'll still get the delay. But on the pre-initialize, you can pass in parameters and it uh, adjusts the mixer a certain way. So the first one is the sample rate. What's the sample rate of the audio files you're going to be using in your game? Um, I don't know if any of you guys are audio files out there. I actually have a background in audio engineering. Um, but this is like just how many samples per second uh, your audio file is. And the standard is 44.1. That's like standard audio quality. So 44,100. That's the first argument. The next is what's the bit depth of the uh, um, audio file. And just know, just type in 16. Pretty much all the audio files you're going to get are in 16 uh, bit. Um, I actually forget there's a third one. Oh, the third one's the buffer size. And this always depends on the computer you're running it on as to what the best value is to pick. But their documentation suggests using 512. So I'm going to use 512. And I think... Uh, oh, sorry. No, the third argument is how many channels. Do you want mono or stereo? Uh, I'm going to put two... Uh, even though most of the sound effects and music I'm using, I convert it into mono, but just go ahead and put two in case you do throw a stereo uh, audio file in here. It'll work. Uh, and then the next one is the buffer size, uh, which is, uh, they just recommend using 512. And because you ran this pygamemixer.preinit, and then pygame.init, and then pygame.mixer.init, it should get rid of that delay. Don't know why that's the case, but it works. So let's go ahead and run it. So now, as soon as I press it, I get the sound effect. Uh, so let's go ahead and add the music. In the music, I'm just going to uh, I'm going to set up in this main file here. So let's let's do this. Let's do. Uh, I want the display setup section to be first, then object setup, and then right here we'll do uh, music setup. So. Music works a little bit different than sound. If you have like a giant music file, there's a more optimized way for Pygame to play the music file than, than a, like putting it in a sound object and saying play sound. Uh, again, I don't know the, uh, the details of why that is, but um, you do pygame.mixer.music.load. And this actually doesn't return anything. It, it like loads it into some background Pygame system. Um, so you, you don't have to like assign this to a variable. You just do pygame.mixer.music.load and pass in the file path to the song you wanna play. Mine is mus underscore level underscore zero one dot aug. And then when you want it to play the song, you just do pygame.mixer.music.play. And you can pass in some arguments here. And really the only one I use is uh, the first argument, which is do you want the song to loop? And it's you can just put zero for no or one for true. So I'm gonna I'm just gonna actually here I'll put loops equals true. There you go. Oh, the other argument you can pass in I think is at what point in the song do you want it to start in or start at? But we're just gonna want to start from the beginning. Now I haven't told you what song I've picked yet, but it's it's a good one. Uh, I'm sure a lot of you out there will recognize it. Um, oh, the other thing. Uh, what it's probably going to do, the song's going to be really loud, and typically in games, you want the music volume to be a little bit lower than sound effects. So let's do this. Let's. Uh, you can do pygame.mixer.music.set volume, and this takes a value from 0 to 1. It's a floating point number. So I'm just going to put it at 0.5. It's like your volume knob. So we put the CD in, put the, the song in, the, in the, the player, we turn the volume to halfway, and now we hit the play button and we set it to repeat, so loops. And it does that right when our game starts. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So for the rest of this tutorial, just because that audio is probably going to get loud and annoying, I'm going to put it at like 0 0.1. Let's hear how that sounds. Yeah, that works a lot better for the tutorial. That way it's not uh, it's not too loud. Um, but yeah, Mega Man, one of the best games of all time. Um, and the way I got that, I just I went on YouTube and 
uh, found that song and there's websites you can go to to rip the audio out of YouTube videos in mp3 format and then I googled convert mp3 to aug and just converted it to an aug and threw it in here uh, but yeah that covers it on this video um, the next one is when we're gonna go over collision detection um, and what's gonna be cool I came up with a system <clears throat> I'm gonna make it when the bullet hits the enemy it actually explodes into a bunch of particles that fly all over the screen and the enemy will explode uh, and then we'll also later on down the road we'll give the player like a health bar and every time he gets hit uh, the health bar will actually uh, get lower and lower until he has zero health left and then he blows up and it's game over uh, but I'll see you guys on the next video